everybody. It is Friday, December 9th. I just had to literally think about that. I am heading to my sister's. I have a three-day weekend, and thank God this week has just been... I only had to work four days this week, and just that alone was enough for me. There was just so much. One of my um, like good friends at work, she was off, and it really just is a difference when she's not there every day. When she came back, I saw her on thir uh, yesterday, Thursday, and I was like, you're never leaving. So anyways, I am driving to my sister's. So today, me and my sister are gonna do a little shopping, getting everything ready for our family get together tomorrow. We're also going to this bakery, it's called Holy Cannoli. And we are going to see if there's something we wanna buy for the party. It's really a jam-packed weekend. I know I'm gonna be exhausted. I'm gonna feel like I desperately need a break after, but next week I only work Monday, and then I have Tuesday, Wednesday off. I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then I'm off again. So that all being said, um, today should be pretty fun, getting our last minute stuff. I also had to get a gift for my brother. He's like the last person I need to buy for. And then when I get home tonight, I need to rearrange the living room because our new couch gets delivered tomorrow morning. And yeah, I have to get everything ready for like Cody's cousin is apparently taking the couch and the chair. I'm really hoping she's planning on coming tonight because otherwise like we have no choice but to get it out of the house tomorrow. And like we don't really have the space to just store a couch if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's basically what is happening. Um, so today will be pretty jam packed. It really all depends whether this will just be a whole weekend vlog, like a huge weekend vlog or like if there's enough footage I might just do this a separate vlog the problem is I don't like to film in front of my family um, because like they might not want to be on camera and it's just weird for me I don't even I get uncomfortable still like filming in front of my husband so yeah I will see but today I'll at least like film some shots of what I'm doing and then I'll just, I'll vlog at home so yeah I am about to turn onto our road though so I will check in, in a little bit back home now and of course I didn't vlog anything for today but I did buy a bunch of stuff so stuff that I bought for tomorrow's shindig are at my sister's I didn't feel like schlepping, schlepping them home just to bring them back so okay so first went to this bakery it was called holy cannoli so I got Cody and I a couple treats to split first I got this extreme chocolate brownie See if I can open this. That's what it looks like. I think Cody will probably enjoy that. And then I got this hot chocolate. Hold on. This one I can't pick up, but I got this hot chocolate cheesecake. So, those will be some of our desserts for later. Finally found cranberry ginger ale. Been looking forever, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, from Dollar Tree, I had to get stockings for my employees. So, I got 10 of just these red stockings. And then for my cats, I got them this stocking. Cute. So then they get a stocking. I'll get out of there. Honey, he's standing in the bag. You get out. There's Christmas presents in there for you. I got them these for their stocking. These are Temptations mix-ups. These are catnip flavored or whatever. And then these are some soft chews. I thought Miles might like that. He can be picky and treat sometimes. I got these condiment cups from Hannaford because I've been wanting them. They're just plastic ones from Dollar Tree. Everything's mixed together, so I can't really do like separate. But from Dollar Tree, I got some Sour Patch Peaches. They are very good. We have a mini fridge in our bedroom, so I got little cans of Crush and little cans of Mountain Dew for it. I was going to buy little bottles of water, but I forgot. 
I got some roasted garlic triscuits for me. And Cody likes Ritz, so I got him some of those. I'm going to be doing a hot chocolate bar for Christmas Eve. And I bought these. They were in like in the clearance section. And I thought this would be good to have out for people to top their hot chocolate. It comes with milk chocolate chips, swirled peppermint squares, and mini marshmallows. So I thought that was cool. I got a bunch of candy for my stocking stuffers for my employees. Caramel pecan K-Cups. Thought I'd try that. I got Cody and I Airhead candy canes for our tree. And I got this 12 count of just these Hershey's chocolate mint candy canes. I figured I could put these in the stockings as well. Other candy for the stockings. I got Cody these. He likes Dunkaroos. These are Dunkaroos with a chocolate frosting. I also saw these in the clearance section, so I got them for Cody. They're fudge stripe cookies, and they have Mario Kart on them or something. I don't even know. I got some Christmas sprinkles, because on Christmas Eve, I want to decorate cookies. I also got this white chocolate mocha creamer. From a liquor store, I got salted caramel Kahlua for the... Uh, hot cocoa bar in case anybody wants to spike theirs. And then I also got 10 of these little Lindor peppermint truffle. Comes with like two. They're only a dollar a piece. So I got those for the stockings for my employees as well. So that's what I got from Walmart. Walmart, Dollar Tree, it's all under the same thing. And then... Had to pick up Cody, so I went into Hanford to grab stuff for our dinner tonight. So I got some sushi. This is California roll. Pretty much the only sushi I eat. I got these because we're going to Cody's mom's on Sunday, so I thought I'd get these for us. These are just vanilla and chocolate cupcakes. I got Cody this stuffed crust pizza for his dinner. And I figured I'd make some egg rolls to go with my sushi for tonight. And I just bought some stuff from Dollar Tree that's not really exciting. It's just like some platters and stuff for my Christmas get together here. And also some sardines for my dad's Christmas gift. So I'm gonna put all this away. I'm gonna make our dinner because I'm starving. I've barely eaten. All I've had was an eclair from the bakery. And I had a Slim Jim and that's it. That's all I've had today. So I'm going to get dinner going and then I have to wrap presents. I have to clean my couch and my chair because Cody's cousin is hopefully coming tonight. Fingers crossed. And pretty much get the living room ready for our couch in the morning. So it's, I got an email saying they're coming between 6.30 in the morning and 11.30 in the morning. Highly doubt it's 6.30 in the morning. I'll be up anyways, but anyways, I'm going to get dinner going. All right, update. I forgot to film, but moved everything on there onto here. This is what it's looking like. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's not the worst either. This is over there. I moved my cat house over there. That'll hold the printer now. We'll get rid of the table there. This I was cleaning. And then next, I got to pull this out and vacuum behind it. And maybe put together my new tables, but I honestly am thinking probably not. Good morning. It is now Saturday, summer 10th at six. We're hopefully getting rid of this couch at around seven. So I figured I have an hour. I'm gonna do what I can to clean it. I have a little like rug doctor. I bought it from Walmart for like a hundred bucks a while ago when my cats dumped my coffee all over my living room floor. I was like, that's it, I gotta buy one. So I'm going to do that real quick, just to be nice, to Cody's cousins. And then he has his alarm set for 6.30, so he'll be up around then. And then I'm one hoping that maybe him and I could lock the cats in the bedroom, and then maybe him and I could at least start to put these outside, just so then I think it would just be easier if we just do it now. And then once 
um, his uncle comes to like grab the couches, all we have to do is carry it from outside the door to his truck. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I am going to set up my tripod so you guys can watch me. Completely forgot last night all that work I did to film it. I feel really bad, but I did a lot last night and I just, once you're in that groove, it's just hard to think to like stop to film. So anyways, but I am going to put set you guys up. You guys can watch me clean my couch. All right, now I use solution that came with the machine. So in case you guys are wondering, I have a Hoover. I have a Hoover um, portable, portable, I don't even know. I can have this link down below if you guys are interested. There are cheaper ones I'm sure, like the Bissell one is usually on sale for really cheap, but this is the one I had gotten at the time. I really like it. So basically, I'm going to turn this on. It's really loud. That's why I locked my cats upstairs. And I'm going to start. You Basically, what you do is you press this here. That like sprays. That spray right here. It sprays water onto your surface. You scrub it right here. And then you kind of use this as a vacuum and it sucks up all the water. So it's going to be good. So this is what they look like now. Not really much of a difference because they're black and microfiber. So, you know, but I do think they do look a little cleaner. Honestly, not too bad. And that didn't take me long. I'm debating because I still have water in my tank, as you can see. And I have some other spots like on our rugs that we've been meaning to um, rug doctor, like places that the cats have puked. But... Oh, I don't know. I haven't even had a cup of coffee, you guys. Um, so maybe, um, like maybe I'll do the stairs or something. That's where, usually in that area, because that's their little room. They've been puking, so uh, I don't know. Um, I can hear the cats upstairs. I'm sure they're gonna wake up Cody soon. But I'm glad that's done. They are. When you use a rug doctor, by the way, in case you're wondering, your fabric is gonna be wet for like a while. By the time he comes and gets this, it should be fine. Um, they should be able to sit on it by the time they get into their house. But um, at least it's semi-clean. I will tell them that obviously it's impossible for me to get get off every single thing of cat hair off it. Um, but they also have a dog. They have an English Mastiff, I think. Um, a really big. It's a really big dog. It's like a Great Dane sized dog. Um, so I'm sure they understand, and it's a free couch and a chair, so I don't think they'll care. Um, so now 
I'm going to maybe do those stairs while I already am doing it. And then I'm going to get some coffee in me. I'm thinking I should pack up all the shoes that are on our shoe area in that little like walkway when you come in through the door. So that way it's just easier. They won't be like tripping on shoes and stuff when they're bringing in the new couch. And maybe like taking our coats off the hooks. Um, so I might do that. Oh, I need some diet coffee though. The couch is gone. Now we're just waiting on the new couch. I'm gonna make us some quick breakfast sandwiches though. While we wait, cause we're hungry. Our breakfast sandwiches. I'm gonna eat these and then back to work to prepare for the mover guys. Couch guys, whatever they are. My Miles, what are you doing? <laughs> I have no idea, but you should come see this. <laughs> they really did tell him for yeah, it. Um, Do you really think anybody would answer you honestly anyways? Mm -hmm. wow. Oh, you do. <laughs> That's what it was. Is that Galapagos? Hey, is he still around? Yeah, he's still alive. Guys, we just got home and I realized I didn't even vlog the couch. But this is what our new couch looks like. As you can see, it's a lot larger than our old couch. So I bought those end tables. And good thing I didn't open the box because I'm going to have to return them because there's no way they're going to fit. As you can see, that's all we have for space. So I did order like this really skinny end table that hopefully will fit there. Like the end table is only like seven inches wide. Just like some things that way, like if I'm sitting there and I have coffee. Because obviously we don't want to spill anything on the new couch. So really excited. The, these throw pillows came with it. Those two I got from Walmart. The blankets all came from Kohl's on Black Friday. But... We're really excited. Now we're home and we're watching Love Hard on Netflix. And we're both very full. We also got some really exciting stuff. So maybe before we go to bed tonight, we'll I'll show what we got from our family, my family. You guys, it's the next morning and I forgot to show you guys what we got for Christmas. So for my mom, I got this new crock pot. I had been needing a new crock pot because I just felt like mine was getting... Like, it would heat up too fast. Like, it was starting to burn out. And it, my crock pot's like a good four or five years old. So I told her I wanted one that was programmable. And I wanted the one that my sister had. Because she has one where she can, like, schedule it and all that. So I'm really excited to have that. And then my sister got me this. Sorry, my sink's dirty. This mug that she made. So 
So my sister made this mug and it has all four Disney parks on it. Very exciting. So yeah, she makes this. She makes these. She has a Facebook page. I can have it down below. If you guys are interested, you guys can just message her and say, hey, I want to buy a cup. And then she'll like do like a consultation about like what you want and stuff. And yeah, if you want this exact mug, just say I want Melissa's Disney mug. That makes sense. And then she also got me this Swiss Miss hot cocoa. And let me put you up here for a second. My internet's down, so I'm waiting for my spectrum to like reboot it. So I'm figuring since I have the time. My brother got my sister and I these raspberry mojito and you just add vodka and you let it sit and then you use it to like mix cocktails. So he also got me a little bottle of vodka. I'm not, I'm gonna probably do, I'm gonna mix that. You have to let it sit for like two or three days. So I'm gonna do that right before Christmas and that way um, Cody's, Cody and I, and um, our sister-in-law could try it out. Anyone's cats get up into the sink and they drink the water from like the dirty dishes. Like we put, if like we're not gonna wash our cereal bowl, we'll put water in it overnight. Ridiculous. Anyways, um, they also got me some nice warm socks and um, a windshield wiper scraper, like for your snow. So that's gonna come in handy this winter. And we had such a good time, but last night I was so, I was not feeling well because I had eaten so much stuff. I'm really starting to worry that I'm gonna, I'm becoming allergic to dairy. My sister-in-law, my brother's fiance, she is like completely cannot have anything made with milk. Like even if it's store-bought, even if you bake with it, if it has any sort of a milk ingredient in it, it she cannot have it. And she has told me before that what it does, like it obviously doesn't like make her swell up. Like, I mean like it does, but not in the way that like she won't die from it. But what happens is her stomach like bloats really like big and I've seen it before cause she's accidentally eaten something with dairy in front of me. It'll like, it will blow it out like she's pregnant and she'll just get so sick. And I feel like I do, I've been having that issue. Now me, I think it's also the amount of food I eat because obviously like this holiday season, you're picking out past when you're full and you're just like snacking and snacking and snacking. My stomach last night was like so bloated and um, sorry, Spectrum just messaged me. And I just felt so like, I wasn't sick or anything. Like I wasn't nauseous or anything. It's just that bloating feeling is so uncomfortable, so. And in other news, I had to buy a sound machine because our fan, I sleep with a fan every single night, even in the winter time, and because I need the noise. And so I have like a white noise app on my phone. The brown noise setting on that, very nice. But I bought a sound machine that I think makes brown noise because I've heard that's like better than white noise. And I will agree because I listen to both and the white noise is more like ear piercing than brown noise. It's more like mellow. So anyways, I'm going to sit and have a cup of coffee. I like don't trust myself drinking it on my couch. So I think I might sit at the kitchen table for a minute. And also I'm trying to get my internet to work anyways. And then I want to finish my, I was trying to finish the Great American Baking Show holiday edition last night. And then I got so tired and I was going to watch it in bed, but then our internet went down. So I just ended up watching TikTok till I fell asleep. And, um, yeah, so I want to finish that. Today we're going to Cody's mom. So we're going to his hometown. It's about an hour away. And we're going to have lunch with her. And I think help her decorate for Christmas. I'm not even sure what the plan is. But I did buy some cupcakes to bring. And... Yeah, that's, I think that's all we need to bring today. Um, and we're just going to go up and have some lunch and have a good time, I guess. But yeah, so fi full, 
full weekend, but you know what? I work Monday, tomorrow, and then I have Tuesday, Wednesday off because I work this coming weekend, next weekend. So I have Tuesday, Wednesday off, and then I have Friday, and then I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's like a five day stretch, which wouldn't be too bad. And then I have next Tuesday off, and then I'm off. Not off. Then I just work until Christmas, and then I have Christmas Eve and Christmas off. So, um, so I figured, like, you know, I'll have Tuesday, Wednesday to crash because Cody will be working, and I'm trying not to buy stuff myself because Cody needs money for Christmas presents, he said. So, that's the thing, like, when you're married and you share a bank account, like, how does that work when you guys buy presents? Like, I... When I bought his PS5, I ended up just doing it through a firm because even though I had the money for it, like up front, like I could have paid it up front, I was like, but if I buy this thing for this amount of money, he's going to see it in the account and then be like, what the hell did she buy for $450? So then it was like, I have, I've been having to like buy things using like Klarna or a firm just so then it's not like obvious what I bought. Cody still have has his account and he has a debit card to his account so I keep telling him like you should use your own account and like he doesn't have money in it it's just like it's only because like he still gets like social security and like it, we just don't want to do the hassle of like trying to switch the direct deposit for that so instead when he gets the money he just puts it in our account so I keep telling him like you should just use that account so wait I don't see what you're buying um but how does that work when you got when if you're married like how how do you guys deal with that or do you just not care like I'm not really a big secret teller anyways I actually already told Cody I got him a PS5 so anyways um I'm gonna go sit and try to get the internet to work so I can watch some TV okay getting ready Sorry that you're gonna have the sun on me. Maybe I could somehow. Let me try to do the curtains. Okay. Really quickly, because Cody just got out of the shower and he's going to be naked coming in, so I don't really want to film that. Um, I'm taking a COVID test real quick because I'm having like a really bad cough. And these are the Binax Now tests. I highly recommend them. However, they are very pricey. So obviously if you don't want to spend 20 bucks on two tests, go for the cheaper ones. But I find that they're just the easiest to do. We do these at work a lot because um, we test ourselves at work. If like you have symptoms or two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's see. But I find that they're the easiest to do, to use. So that's why I need, that's when Cody, Cody had COVID, like right before we went to Disney, like two weeks before Disney. And <clears throat> um, I bought a bunch of those because I was testing every day to make sure I didn't catch it from him. And luckily I didn't, I had a weird false positive because I tested positive at home but then I went to work and I tested there and I was negative. So, but having a cough today and then yesterday I started freaking out because I got this thing on my phone. I had no idea that you could get these. Um, apparently on your phone now, you can, I guess you can opt in and opt out. I had no idea it was even a thing. So I didn't even know I was signed up for it, but you can opt in to get notifications if you've been exposed of COVID. So one popped up, but it was like, I had no idea who I could have even been around that had it. So I didn't know what to think of it. Cause if it was just that, like maybe I had gone to Walmart, cause I'm assuming it detects it from your location. If you always have your location on and I'm assuming it detects it. Like if I had gone to Walmart or something, cause I had been to, uh, I had been shopping with my sister the day before. And it happened yesterday morning and it said I was exposed, I don't know, between this day and this day. And I'm like, but what I would I've even done? Because it couldn't have been I got exposed at work because they would have called me and let me know that we have positive cases in, at work. So I, I'm assuming it's just that like it detects it off of where I had been 
like through my location. So I like was kind of freaking out, but at the same time, like this whole COVID thing is just something that like doesn't, doesn't necessarily scare me anymore. I'm not scared of getting it and like dying from it. I'm more scared of just like, obviously I don't want to be the asshole that has it and I go out to places and whatnot, but I have a cough this morning, <clears throat> which could be just a lack of water slash I've been cleaning this morning and there's like dust flying around. So I figured I'll do my makeup while that's going because I'm pretty certain it will probably be negative, but we'll see. I think that's the sound of the bathroom door, so I'm gonna let Cody come in and get dressed. Update. It's negative. We're going to get dressed real quick. I have to brush my teeth. Um, and then we're gonna head up to his mom's, really. I was trying to think if we have anything else to do, but I don't think so. Yes, I'm drinking a soda in the morning. We keep little can little beverages up here because we have a mini fridge and this is the only thing we had. So I just, it works in a pinch. Good morning. It is now Monday, December 12th and I am up. It's like 5.15 in the morning. Set my alarm for six. And like I said in the last Vlogmas, like just my body had other plans, but I'm sitting at my dining room table having a cup of coffee so I still don't trust myself to drink it at my couch yet until my um, table comes in but um, I'm editing vlogmas and catching up on vlogmas on YouTube. Um, didn't vlog that much this weekend, not as much as I probably wanted to. Like I said, it's hard for me to vlog in front of family. It's like they probably don't want to be on camera and all that, but I just figured I'll recap the weekend. So, um, Friday I went down and went with my sister to go shopping to buy last minute stuff for the party, for our family party. And then Saturday we went down and had a great time with my family, got our presents. Um, we never did a, you can hear my cats playing with the tree. Psst. No. Anyways, so then we got our presents, ate really, really good food. I did film what the food looked like and had a really good time there. And then yesterday we got up and headed to Cody's hometown to his mom's house and we had a really yummy like boiled dinner there like ham cabbage potato and carrots it was delicious and then we hung out with her and that was really nice so um it was a jam-packed weekend but I'm just I'm really happy that I I'm just really happy we were all to fit it in because at first I was really weary about going yesterday, but I'm glad we did. And I got to see his brother's new apartment, so that's really exciting. So, um, I am going to close this out. I know it's probably not as big of a vlog as I would have wanted, but tomorrow and Wednesday I have off from work, so I want that to be its own vlog. And I'm probably not going to vlog today because I work today and it's just... I know for a fact there's going to be nothing for me to vlog. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little snippet of a vlog. Um, if you did, please don't get, get, forget to give it a thumbs up. Oh my God. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, just go and click that little red thing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.